I'm Dr. Shamika Dixon, Medical Director at Teen Health Connection and Board Certified Adolescent Medicine Specialist. The vignettes you're about to see address the topics of sex and reproductive health. Even if you've never had sex or don't plan on having sex anytime soon, it's important to have conversations about safety and consent early. We want to remind you that being upfront and honest with yourself, your partner, your friends, your family, and importantly, your doctor can help keep you safe, protected, and in charge of your health. The following vignettes include discussion of sexual assault, which might be especially troubling for some viewers. If you or someone you love has been a victim of sexual assault, contact the Safe Alliance Hope Line at 980-771-HOPE. That's 4673. After watching these vignettes, please call our behavioral health triage clinicians at 704-381-8379 if you would like to learn more about services and programs at Teen Health Connection or in the community. Hey man, how was your day with that girl? Oh, that date. And yeah, it was cool. So what happened? Oh, let me tell you. Oh, hey, so how was your date with that guy? Oh, that date. Yeah, it was terrible. What happened? Let me tell you. So I pick her up. He picks me up. It's going really well. She's vibing to the music I was playing. What were you playing? Gardens by SZA. Ooh, I'm sold. Right? <laughs> It started off really good. His music taste was excellent. Oh, what was he playing? Girl, SZA. For real? Yeah, I <laughs> know. But some things are too good to be true. So then we go to dinner. So then I take her to dinner. And we're in the restaurant having a really great conversation. And the bill came and I asked, am I going to get some? <laughs> when the bill came, he asked me if he was going to get some. She I said, said no. no. Oh, man. And so then we get back in my car and I'm like, so I'm really not gonna get none and I had to get it one way or another. Wait, wait, what do you mean by that? Meaning I got what I wanted at the end of the day. Dude! When we got back to his car, he asked me again if I'd have sex with him. I told him no once more, but he didn't like that. He forced himself on me despite my pleas to stop. Wow. Yeah, why it's a jerk. No, I'm shocked by you. I mean, he literally bought you food, took you out. What did you expect to happen? You wouldn't give it to him. What? I mean, she wasn't giving, so I just took it. Dude, you literally assaulted this girl. Wait. Wait. No, Wait. no, no, no. That poor girl. You know, when I was younger, I was assaulted. She was an older woman, and that was extremely traumatizing. Imagine what you just did to this girl. Wow. What? He literally assaulted me, and you're blaming me because he bought me a burger? <laughs> I'm just saying that you went out knowing how the day was going to end and then tried to get out of it last minute? That's not fair to him. I went out on the expectation of having fun, not getting raped. You asked for it. I can't believe you're treating me like this. <laughs> you're horrible, man. She asked for no, it. No, I can't believe you, man. So long. Hey dude, sorry I was taking so long. I was just never mind. <laughs> okay. Um <clears throat> Max heading to uh 1450 Withrow Drive, right? R right, right. All uh, right, come on. My uh girlfriend's house. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, buckle up, sweetie. Okay. So uh How's your night going? Um, good. Nice, nice. <laughs> Are you good? Huh? Well, I mean, it's not every day that I get someone who actually wants to hold a conversation rather than putting in their earbuds ASAP or, or drunk in my backseat talking about what they should have been doing with their lives, so shoot. Well, um, you see, I, 
Well, my girlfriend and I oh. wanted to, uh, <coughs> oh, oh, oh. and uh, to do that, I needed to get a few things. So, so I, you got condoms. Shh. Oh, you got condoms. Shh. I'm so sorry. Shh. You got condoms. Yes, I got condoms. But you don't need to announce it to everybody. I'm so sorry. It was really embarrassing. And, and who knew that there were so many different brands and, and sizes? Oh, yeah. I didn't know what to get, so I just got Magnum. Oh. And I think Glow in the Dark. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> well, I mean, all right, but like, why were you so nervous? I mean, at least you know that you'll be protected. Well, yeah. I, I guess I just didn't really expect you to get it. Because when you go and get condoms, at, at CVS at least, uh, they have them behind this glass case, and you have to like, push this button for the worker to come and open it, and it's just like really embarrassing, because they give you this look of like, I bet I know what you're doing later. <laughs> and it's just really embarrassing, but at least it's over, so. Well, you're stronger than I've known. Oh, you should hear some of the guys that I hear on these rides. Oh, they talk about the same issues, but they leave it to the girl to worry about. That's awful. I couldn't imagine what it would be like for her to worry about it on her own. I know, especially when it's <laughs> not that hard to <laughs> use protection. Yeah. Uh, I, do, do you ever wonder what happens to the other people, like the ones that you drive? Sometimes. Other times it's sad to think about. I mean, ugh, you're talking about a possible lifelong commitment. I mean, it's important to take to do things in the safest ways possible. People just don't realize how much it changes things until it happens to them. Yeah, do you know the effects? Oh, all too well. Do you mind me asking how? My sister, well, and her boyfriend, ugh. They did not take the proper steps of precaution. She got pregnant, he left her. She couldn't tell the family. She had just gotten a scholarship too. But since she couldn't take care of a daughter and go to school, I, well, I mean, I, I have a wonderful niece now, but, but my sister's still trying to figure out a way through school, so... Well, from someone who knows what it's like, thank you. Uh, there's no need to thank me. I just like being safe and doing the right thing. But thank you. Okay. Oh! Oh, sir! Sir! You forgot your condoms! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed these videos and learned something that will help to protect you in the future. Your doctor, including the medical team here at Teen Health Connection, are always available to talk and answer questions you have about sexual and reproductive health. These conversations can stay confidential between you and your provider. Remember, always be you. Protect yourself and talk to your doctor when you're ready.